Hello everyone. Welcome to AITechmon.com. My name is Sumit and uh, this is my new video in Salesforce WCRM. And the topic for today's video is that how to deploy a prediction model on a Salesforce object. In my last video, you might have checked out that how to create a story using data discovery in WCRM. If you have missed out, you can check the link in the description below. If you haven't subscribed my YouTube channel, please subscribe my YouTube channel so that you can get latest update. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get update on the videos. So let me demonstrate you how to deploy a prediction model on a Salesforce object. And in order to do this, I will be going to use the same data model, same story which we created in our last video. So as you, if you remember, this is a story we designed, we created in our last record, in our last session. And now I'm going to deploy this model in my Salesforce object. And as you can see, I've already created a Salesforce object name as Titanic Dataset. And this contains almost 50, uh, 50 plus records. So there are almost um, uh, 889 records were there. So now I'm just going to demonstrate you how, how can we deploy this model on to the Salesforce object. Now this model can be deployed, uh, means we can deploy a model uh, both on standard as well as, a, as well as on custom object. So let's have a look how to deploy that. So click on model and uh, you'll get an option called deploy model. So I click on deploy model. Now, as you can see, it says that we have already created a couple of models. So here's an option to replace model or else we have an option to set up a new model. So I'm just going to deploy as a new model with a new prediction. And I just write prediction survive Titanic data set model. So that's the name of my model. Click on add object. Now in step number two, uh, select how you want to deploy this model. So do we want to deploy without connecting to a Salesforce object or we want to connect to a Salesforce object? So obviously we would like to deploy model on our Salesforce object. So I'm going to select the Titanic data set and my, my data set name is new Titanic data set. You can check the API name also, new Titanic underscore data set underscore underscore C. So just in case, if you are not sure about the data set, we can just quickly go and check the API name of our so I'll just quickly go and check the API name of data set is new Titanic data set underscore underscore. C. So that's the same object. Click on map field. Now in step number three, we have to map the field. So if you want to add supplement data set, if you want to add more fields, we can add it. Else I'm just skipping this out and I will be going to use the same fields like the fields like past, age, uh, sibling, fare, embark, passenger class, and sex. So usually, the Einstein automatically map fields with matching or similar names. If you are unable to map all the fields, this model can still be used with Einstein prediction, service API or the tab CRM data flow prediction term. So we can figure this out. So that's step number three. Uh, step number four, we need to configure the prediction field. So name the custom field that stores the results. So it says no prediction field, automatically prediction will, will not be enabled or else we can create a new prediction field. So I'm just, I'm just selecting as a, uh, let's say, survival, survival prediction. So I just labeled it as survival prediction. This is going to track the predictions, the survival prediction, the percentage of survival prediction. Click on, uh, next is the define the terminal state. Do we want to define any terminal state? So it says the actual outcomes and then tell Einstein how to recognize when a record is reached a terminal state. Basically, we can add some conditions. So I'm not going to add any condition. I'm not going to filter it out the record based on certain conditions we would like to predict. So right now I don't have such scenarios. I don't have requirements. I want to predict in all stages. Click on add filters. Want to focus on a particular segment in a data set. So this is again the same thing that Segmenting your data set that you focus your predictions on a particular group, such as a customer type, sales region, or a division in your office. So I don't want to focus on a specific, uh, I don't want to focus on a specific field. Here, I just want to focus on all the fields we have. 
so i'll skip this as well i'll skip this as well no segment and uh, use the prediction from all data click on add variable so uh, do we want to make predictions on all the action variables so you can select a specific mainly we'll be focusing on the siblings and the passengers class but in this case i just select all the which basically do not enable improvement for any variable that cannot be controlled such as customer address information but i select all of because we don't have any address then review that's that's the last uh, that's the next step that is for review and we can quickly do a quick review about what have we have selected the action variables the data segment fields and predictions and i just want to predict the maximum survival we can just quickly go through step number 1 and and finally we click on skip that so basically here we will be going to maximize the survival maximum maximum survival of the system and deploy when we click on deploy it says uh, we have to wait till this model get deployed and your model has been deployed to sales so let's click on done now let's go and check whether our model has been deployed or not so i'll just get back to my sales code and the first of all i'm just going to check the field and the field here is the passenger survival prediction this is the field created just now passenger survival prediction and what we can do is we can add this field on and on our I mean, we can add this field or we can display this field somewhere so what i can do is i can just select field to display and uh, i can just add passenger survival prediction. so that field we need to so the field is added and now what we'll do is the main objective is to deploy the model so how to deploy the model on a form because i just wanted to see the model over here on this on this object page so how to do this how to deploy a model here what we have to do is first of all you need to have the admin privileges or the permissions to customize this page then only you will be able to deploy the model on your form now here what i will be doing is i click on here icon and click on edit page and once the page opens in edit mode you can see there is a einstein prediction option so we have to move this einstein prediction from here to here and then map it to the uh, map it with our prediction so i'll just drag and drop this einstein prediction on a blank space and uh, that's the prediction prediction survival data model we created and you can see it gets the prediction it start giving the prediction value Uh, we can get the score count if you want to remove the title we can remove the title unit uh, unit proceed score show top prediction collapse details see here is an option for collapse details and include link to model card and click on save so because i have already activated this earlier so therefore i don't have to activate it but in your case you you might have to activate this you might have to activate this as on required and if it is done i'll just get back and let's review the changes 
and uh, now you can see the model has deployed successfully here and we can see the survival now let's quickly do one thing let me quickly create a new record so i'm just going to check the survival for jimmy adams passenger id let's say uh, passenger id c passenger id and uh, passenger class 1 female age 35 zero sibling zero and click it i c and click on save and as you can see once i save this record i get the prediction that the the, the survival or the prediction of survival for this passenger is 95.75 and that's our top predictor so like this way we can like this way we can create a prediction in uh, we can make a prediction we can create a story in einstein discovery using einstein discovery in uh, tableau crm and we can deploy the data model on our salesforce so you can use this you can use this prediction model to make predictions for the items will be going to uh, the items will be going to sell out, or we can make predictions for the customers' conversion or customer retention. So there could be a lot of scenarios. There could be a lot of requirements and a uh, lot of examples for making predictions. So that's all in this video. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, don't forget to press like button. You can post your comment in comment box for the customer customized training on. And WCRM, you can contact us on the given contact numbers, or you can drop an email also, or you can visit our website www.aitech1.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.